I just love me a good vinyl record. The rare, the mostly common, and all the ones in between. But I don't feel like this is the most productive place to talk about them. So just give me one second. Yeah. <sighs> hey, that's pretty 16 by 9. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Vinyl Update 9, the highly anticipated Vinyl Update 9. I've done eight more of these things, so if you'd like to go check them out, please be my guest. I wanted to make a little short little buffer video here between the latest main channel video and the newest main channel video that's being worked on. Uh, I'm uh, graduating soon. I have a vacation coming up, and I just want to put something out to just kind of relax put it as a nice little relaxer easy to edit nothing too crazy so i got some vinyl records uh it's been a while since the last one i believe it was definitely before christmas and that's when a bulk of these uh were gifted to me so now i have a bunch of vinyl records that need to be shown off in a video because i listen to music if that is not known if this is your first vinyl update, welcome. This is uh, no script, just kind of flowing off the top of the dome where I talk about the albums I got. And uh, yeah, usually the format that I do here, it's uh, I have non like album related things like CDs or cassettes, no CDs or cassettes today. Then we get seven inches, no seven inches today. And then we go from black records to colored records, which is what we have, 12 inch colored records. So yeah, I mean, if we have no objections, let's just get right into this because I got a fair few and this might take a little bit of time because i like to take my sweet time with vinyl updates you know really appreciate the artwork and the the packaging you know i'm a bit of a connoisseur i've uh, made a few vinyls in my day so i know what it takes to make a really good vinyl record so i say take it low and slow like we're cooking a pot roast i think i think you cook those low and slow uh, little Yachty, let's start here. Booyah. And uh, I've recently gotten to the uh, habit of sleeving my records so that they do not get dusty and I do not lose my investment. Lil Yachty, let's start here. Booyah. Uh, an album that was one of the first main, like, new releases I heard in 2023, and I was just as shocked, I'm sure, everyone else was. Hearing someone of the stature of Lil Yachty and being so, so known for, like, just making, like, Honestly, some shitty trap music, like shitty pop rap music. I was very pleasantly surprised, to say the least, uh, when listening to this album. I think I can say pretty confidently that the Black Seminole is the sole reason that I now own this on vinyl. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I think, in my personal opinion, it's a black record. I start with the black records first. There was an opportunity to really make this, like, colorful. Like, I know the AI theme had some people tight, but... I, I'm not so tight about it like I think it still if it still looks good and it's made with AI I don't really care after that then it starts getting a little wild but like pretty cool I like the front I think the back is actually pretty cooler like uh, pretty cooler is more cool because you got the weird like color distorted little bits I think it looks real nice it's pretty cool and then open her up and then you I think this is AI I'm gonna go with it but you got a gatefold gatefold a Rooney and then look, it's the name of the album. Let's start here. You know what? That's a good idea, Yachty. So we got ourselves a double LP here. I'm only going to take out one because it's you kind of get the same idea. More of this uh, possible AI artwork kind of kind of vibe going on with uh, the green text. Almost Kanye West, uh, uh, I Love Being Bipolar. What is that album called? Yay. Yay. Open up the record. I love the art on the sleeves. I think the use of like weird almost kind of pixelated artwork for the background with like more uh like how do you say vectorized images uh travis scott's astro world comes to mind with really cool artwork like pixelated artwork kind of using it to its advantage and i think that's pretty cool and the last other thing besides the double lp had a big fuck off play i almost said playboy cardi jesus Lil Yachty poster of the album. Pretty cool. Yeah, I don't hang posters. Oh, shit. And it says, let's start here on the back. I didn't realize that. Let's start here. Yachty. I don't really hang posters in my room, so this is kind of just like 
a moot point for me. Maybe in the future I'll hang it or like I'll make a little collection of all the posters I got from vinyls. But, but yeah, let's start here. It was a shockingly good album. I love the Pink Floydian style of, uh, you know, the rock, psych rock. And I think Lil Yachty doing that is pretty cool for an artist his size and his notoriety, like stepping out of his obvious comfort zone and his fan base's comfort zone and making something like this. Like, I, I can't hate on that. And obviously not because uh, I got it. And this was a... Uh, 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 birthday present from my girlfriend. So thank you, girlfriend. Uh, girlfriend will come up multiple times as this video progresses. Hubble, self-titled EP. Look at that photography, ain't that cool? Um, this, uh, like I said, girlfriend is gonna be mentioned. Uh, I went on a trip to where I'm going again uh, very soon, to Florida, and we found a record stop in Fort Lauderdale. And I went in and I was like, this is a cool ass record shop. I want to buy something from here. So I was looking through and I didn't really have anything that I was really fucking with, like people I knew. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy two, count them two records from this record shop. And you will see the other one as the storytelling progresses. So please hang tight. Uh, and I got this. I thought it was a beautiful album cover. It's like the beach theme with the, the color choice on film, which is really nice looking. And I was like, yeah, this is a pretty cool album cover. On the back, not as cool, but I mean, yeah, it's not too shabby. Uh, for my research, it's like uh, slowcore, like shoegaze. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And it's a small, uh, Flo I think it's a Florida uh, record label, uh, Dis Disorder Records in the bottom bottom corner right there. Yeah, shout out. Uh, pretty cool. And it's like only four tracks. It's a nice little EP. Get a little insert here with the... Uh, the band members chilling with some i believe this is, these are the lyrics and some credits not too shabby and then on the flip side you got a nice little fucking uh, collage like a little collage of the things that have been made for the record and then inside i got excited because there wasn't anything on the outside like plastic that indicated what it is like some uh like vinyls do that don't have pictures or anything and I Googled it and it's like, ooh, you could get a colored variant. I'm like, oh fuck, I think I'm gonna get a colored variant. I open up, well, wrong one, but I open up and I look at this, the 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 th the vinyl and you could see on the edges, there's like a little bit of color. It's like, oh fuck, I got a fucking rainbow color. Nah, I got pranked, it's just a regular black record, but uh, pretty cool. It's a nice girthy, gir girthy vinyl. Like this is some heavyweight shit. Other side is literally nothing. So I mean, not, super thrilled about that but i mean yeah it's a uh, it's it's cool and you know flimsy paper sleeve Ugh, am i right but yeah pretty cool for a blind purchase at a uh, record store like a, a thousand miles away from my house like i think this is a pretty good pickup i love the cover and even the music like was shockingly good like i had legit no idea what kind of music this was so kind of a w if you want to check out hubble uh go check them out uh, i'll leave uh, links in the description for the more unknown ones if you guys want to check them out hubble self-titled uh it's it's lit next the network money money 2020 part two yeah i don't know what this is either uh this was another birthday present uh not from my girlfriend but from my my little brother and he told me the funny story of how he achieved this. He walked into a record store and he saw something that had the sales sticker on it and he bought it. So now it's in my collection and that's the end of the story. <laughs> it, I listened to it. It's like punk rock, hip hop kind of, you know, super JLS-esque. More like uh, Rage Against the Machines, uh, I guess. Uh, Oh, what is it gridiron is popping off now kind of like gridiron right now but not a huge fan of it kind of digital hardcore hip-hop i guess you can call it the artwork's pretty cool it's not bad double lp nothing too uh nothing too shabby just a black record with the uh the promotional material on the front and back uh i'm gonna be honest don't have a lot to say about this because i mean i don't really know the band and i'm not a huge fan of the music so I mean, I appreciate the president. Absolutely. I told, I told my little brother, I was like, Hey, I don't need to like, you don't need to do any research. Like if you get me any vinyl, there's a cool cover, then I'm, um, I'll be good with that brother. Y you know me. So yeah, this is what he got me. Uh, not a huge fan of it, but I mean, Hey, it's something cool to share between me and my little brother. If anyone wants a network vinyl, let me know. I'm kidding. I'm going to keep it next. A little pick for myself that when I saw in the 
clearance bin at my record store, I was like, I didn't even know they fucking pressed this on vinyl, and I got it immediately. Everything is recorded by Everything is Recorded. A cool album. I don't know if any of you know about this. This is an album that, like, I only listen to a few songs off of it, but the songs I do listen to are bangers. It's like a collaboration album with all the people that are on or collaborate with XL Recordings. And I believe his name is uh, Richard Russell. That's his name because it's on the back of the vinyl. And they made a collaboration album called Everything is Recorded. And it's pretty cool. Kind of a cool little minimalistic style album cover. I love the yellow. Very bright. And the little... Uh, whoopsies accent of the recording s symbol there it's cool it gets the job done but i mean i wish it was a little bit more and then on the back you got the uh track list and then you got the people that worked on this which is pretty cool like finite gigs samfa was on like three or four songs on this peter gabriel who we may see later on uh and kamasi washington some big people were working on this they re released another kind of project like this uh, everything is re everything is recorded but not to the highest quality but this is definitely a banger i highly recommend uh checking out specifically i like the intro i think is great a uh, close but not quite is the one with samfa it's a banger uh mountains of gold is a good one and my favorite song wet looking road with gigs i it's it's just some great sample hip hop with gigs just like it's just like a fun romp listening to it and that's why i really like that song so check out wet looking road but this is the gatefold some photography of uh everyone recording the album i think it's pretty cute even though it is a gatefold uh there is only one uh record one disc uh not colored but you know pretty cool you got a slight color change from the the yellow it's a little bit of a red now but with uh, some cool photography on the one side. On the other side is something very interesting to me, which I think is very cool. It's like a fucking Excel spreadsheet of who worked on what and where they appear on the track list. That's very smart. I like that a lot. So you know when you open it, exactly who did what. Like uh, vocals, uh, what songs, like who was on it. Like It's pretty cool. Like here, ready? I'll, sh I'll tell you exactly what Sampha was involved with. Ready? Um, Vocals on the intro, vocals, bass, and piano on Close But Not Quite, vocals on, vocals on Mountains of Gold, and vocals on Show Me Love. He's all over this record. So if you like Sampha, please check this out. And I was ready to just kind of, you know, after I opened it, I was like, oh, that's cool. Just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm done here. But what the fuck is this? A little sheet of paper in here, right? Check this shit out. Ready? The DJ Reaction Report. I have no idea what this is. Like, I've never seen this before. Like, please, please complete in full. Like, name, clubs, towns, feedback. Will you be getting this record? Like, this reaction must be returned by... Oh, wait. Oh, shit, I missed it. It says it needs to be done by February 16th, 2023. Well, shit, I guess uh, it's uh, down here. I guess uh, it's a cool little piece. Yeah, if anyone wants to tell me what this is in the comments, like, I, I kind of get what it is, but I don't know what it is. If you'd like to, you know, tell me what that is in the comments, feel, please feel free. But yeah, pretty cool record. Uh, good pickup. I highly recommend uh, Everything Is Recordings uh, self-titled debut album. And speaking of Peter Gabriel, Peter Gabriel, self-titled. Look at that. Cool album. My mom's boyfriend asked, it was like, uh, what, uh, what kind of music do you like? And I was just kind of telling him, I never said anything about Peter Gabriel, but I told him I was a music head and we talk about uh, some stuff. And for Christmas, he got me Peter Gabriel. And I was like, wow, that's fascinating. Cause I know a lot of people that I listen to talk all the time about how influential Peter Gabriel was to their work. And I think it's cool that I have a little piece of music by Peter Gabriel. I've listened to a little bit of it. I need to listen to like the rest of it. But from what I heard, it's it's pr pretty darn good. And you could for, you could tell how influential he is because he he was literally on the record I showed beforehand. I didn't even plan that. That was that was completely accidental. And I like the inside because there's more like I like the old crackly kind of paper style. Like it's old. You could tell it's old, but it works. Uh, and you got like these cool like kind of diagrams kind of much like uh, everything is recorded like who did what like with the credits and all that stuff i think it's a cool little motif i mean it's an older record so you know black sleeve with the very ugly uh atlanta atlantic records like sleeve design not a huge fan of that kind of design but i mean yeah i mean 
gets the job done. The packaging is falling apart, but hey, that's the the charm of old records. I don't need to. I don't need my shit in the best condition, bro. So I get. As long as it plays a little bit, I'm fine. Yeah, Peter Gabriel. Peter Gabriel, self-titled. Pretty cool record. Uh, thank you, uh, Mom's Boyfriend, for sending me this. I appreciate it. And now we're on to some more music. Cording. Guitar music. Yeehaw. Um, I'm usually, in this setup, I usually do my Patreon I've Been, I've been Listening Shit series where uh, patrons recommend me albums and I review them and then I, I do like a video like style recording in this setup that I am now. The reason I bring it up is because this was actually a patron recommended uh, album by uh, Mickey T of uh, the Taped Podcast and of Mickey T fame, his uh, own personal stuff. But Mickey T recommended me this uh, cording guitar music and I thought it was awesome. I thought that cording was really doing something different here. And I was like, hell yeah, this is, this is kind of sick. So you know your boy had to pick it up on vinyl. It's like post-punk with like a pop edge to it and i think it's really cool but even if it's even though it's poppy it's still like noisy and like experimental i'm like it's just it's everything i like i'm not a huge fan of the like the cover it's just kind of plain in my opinion but i mean it gets the job done i'll say that much we got a little art book in this one this first art book of the of the day and going through it is just kind of like you know some various promotional pictures uh like credits and lyrics and stuff just Pictures of the of the gang hanging out, making music, being silly and stuff, being being British. It's pretty cool. Even though it doesn't really add a lot, it's just something to show that, you know, the people really cared that was making the vinyl and they want to make it like a really cool experience. Like make you feel in on the experience when you're opening a vinyl record, when you have stuff like that. And again, just uh plain black record, nothing too crazy. I do kinda like the minimalistic label design here with like the weird patterns and shapes i think it looks pretty nice i don't know if it do something for myself but pretty cool and there's a download code on the other side of this which i don't want to show because i save all my download codes under my record player as a matter of fact but yeah courting guitar music uh i highly recommend uh, loaded and famous those songs are excellent and uh i think they're really doing something different i'm really excited for what courting has to bring to the the british pop punk kind of uh scene that's going on right now so recording guitar music thank you for the pickup uh christmas gift from girlfriend i think actually thank you girlfriend next we have a album that i remember listening to when it came out and when it was like popping but never really listening to the whole thing and realizing how like great it was until it was too late so i had to buy it on vinyl travis scott's rodeo oh boy me and my roommate in college would bond over travis scott's rodeo because like I think we were both, he was very much a, uh, you know, like trap rap kind of guy. Like he loves like Lil Durk. He loves Key Glock, Young Dolph, rest in peace. Um, you know, like uh, the, the people of that ilk, you know, like Young Nudie. But this was the one artist that we could both agree on. And for uh, when we were in the dorms for his birthday, I got him a CD of uh, Rodeo because he doesn't have records, but I wanted to give him like one of his favorite albums on vinyl. So now we both have uh, a really fucking good album on vinyl. So there you go. Yeah, dude, I know like Antidote is like the big poppin' one, but like there is so much heat on this. It is ridiculous. Uh, pornography, uh, 3500, uh, 90210, Pray for Love, Nightcrawler, Piss on Your Grave, Impossible, Flying High, Apple Pie. Good God, that was a fucking bar on its own. And not to mention, one of the... I love this album cover. It's fucking great. I love the motif. What? Okay. I love the motif. It is sick. I love the action figure style and the colors and the staging here is just, ah, it's great. Um, not a huge fan of the deluxe cover, but I mean, this is, it, this is way better. Double LP, which is nice. Uh, you know, you got some photography of little, uh, little action figure Scott here with, uh, on the backside, some credits and more looks like test photos of, uh, Tra Travi Patty over here, and then the uh, rodeo. Like when you hear the word rodeo, you think like cowboys, but I don't for some reason. So I guess that's why it kind of works. And people think rodeo is a goofy ass title, but I'm like, rodeo like is a fucking banger ass title. So yeah, I mean, I can't really say enough good things about the the music on here. So yeah, fucking rodeo. Travis Scott, great, great pickup. Uh, another uh, girlfriend present. Thank you, girlfriend. All right, final uh, black record in the collection. And this is not a girlfriend present or a mom boyfriend present. This is actually friend present from uh, my good friend, uh, Crime Dog. Shout out to Crime Dog. But 
It's, you guys are going to laugh when you fucking see this. You probably saw it in the thumbnail, but... In the airplane over the sea. Yeah, I know. Fucking shut up. I listened to it for the first time on uh, the Good Enough pa the Good Enough Podcast Patreon. We did an LP, which is like a listening party, or for those of you who don't know, where we listened to an album front and back, and the one that was picked was fucking Neutral Milk Hotel. So we listened to it, and I've never heard it before ever in my entire life. I've never ever, well, that's a lie. I listened to a little bit of it, like over the loudspeaker at my coffee shop job with my other employee friend, but that didn't count because I didn't remember jack shit about it. So we listened to it again, and I was like, you know what? There's actually some pretty good songs on here. So look at me now. My goofy ass now owns, like every other person in the who collects music in the entire world, has a neutral milk, milk hotel vinyl. I do really like the packaging. Like for the vintage kind of stamp nature of the cover, it feels nice. It's like very, it's cardboard almost, which kind of fits with the more vintage tones. And once again, with this being a gatefold, uh, this only has one record, but it's a clear, clear little, clear little John. Same thing front and back. Don't even want to take it out of the sleeve, but oh, almost did. I know the fucking story of the album's goofy. I know it's weird, but I mean like, hey, music bangs, bro. I'm good. What can I say? So I guess it's kind of like a trout mask situation. No, it's not a trout mask situation. I don't even like tr trout mask, but he always sits. I don't know if you could see. He always sits in the corner right there. Trout Mask Replica. Still have not opened it or listened to it. But this is kind of the case because it's like a funny meme album. But this one actually has some bangers on it. So shout out Neutral Milk Hotel. Now everyone can make fun of me because they know I fucking listen to Neutral Milk Hotel. But I guarantee it's on every single one of your topsters. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, we're off of the black records. So now the only records you're going to see are colored ones that have never been shown before. And I'm going to lie because I'm going to show one that I have shown before. Young Fathers, heavy, heavy. Uh, I'm showing this one off first because I showed it off in the Young Fathers video that I did. Big fan of that video. I think it turned out great. It was the kind of first initial jump to the new style that I'm trying now with the, you know, four by three and the weird paper cutout textures. But it made a cameo multiple times in that, as well as another one that's coming later in this video. But a uh, huge fan of this album. As soon as it was like i heard uh what was it i saw off the teasers i knew it was something i had to get uh their album artwork is a little lacking on the back or like their p packaging artwork i should say album artwork no 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 this is fantastic packaging artwork is a little iffy but it's a funny little story again girlfriend present this was a girlfriend christmas present however she did not like she did not make clear that the Christmas present had to be here on Christmas. So I told her about the album and she pre-ordered it for me. And she told me right before Christmas, she's like, Jake, there's an album, like there's a present that just isn't showing up. And I'm like, which one is it? She's like, I'm not telling you, it's a vinyl. And, she, and she's like, it's just been in shipping for the past like, for the past like a uh, month. I don't know, it's not gonna, is it gonna get here by Christmas? I'm like, what album was it? She's like, I can't tell you. I was like, was it heavy, heavy? She's like, show me the cover. And I showed her the cover. She's like, yes, it's that one. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's not supposed to be out until February. She's like, why the fuck did you tell me to get you a Christmas present that's not going to be here on Christmas? I said, because I want the fucking thing. So it's a late Christmas present. You, The Christmas present is telling me I got it, and then I get it later. I don't think it's that difficult. But that was a fun little misunderstanding. And in the vinyl, uh, we get a big-ass poster. So first, I can't even fit all this on the same fucking screen. It's... You know, credits and and jazz going down here. And then a very cool backside. I would not be remiss if this was the album cover. It looks very intro reserve esque. Very, uh, by the time I get the Phoenix, very thing esque, but very cool. Again, I don't really do anything with posters. They're just like kind of cool to have. Just like nice that the people making the album would give a fuck like that. So it's pretty cool. But on the actual packaging, you saw in the video, but I love the photography of like the stretched person. Like th this side specifically is excellent. I love this. It looks so nice. And then, you know, I've been hyping it up. It's about damn time that I show y'all what I'm talking about. Colored vinyl, red, a deep red, which is kind of cool, which I found out uh, later after purchasing this, that deep red, like this kind of dark maroon red was the first color vinyl that they ever pressed. Because I think red was just like easy to get or something or like lead or something. I don't fucking know. But very nice. Very plain label. But I mean, you know, you don't come here for the label. You come here for the banging tunes. Vinyl number two that I mentioned from blindly picking out records at the store. Janet 
Simpson. I actually forget what this is called. Safe Distance. I picked it up because, fuck, I love this album cover. I think it's fantastic. I love the cross stitch motif. And like the the guy getting like the snake. I'm like, that's sick. I love this album cover. It's awesome. And upon later research, this is a country album, which, you know, not a huge fan of. Listened to a little bit and wasn't I wasn't blown away with what I heard, but I think the, the like, kind of, the reasoning behind buying it with it being, like, you know, a fun little vacation purchase of a vinyl I've never heard before was pretty cool. And then, to my fucking surprise, upon opening, empty, by the way, nothing uh, in there besides a flimsy paper sleeve, what the fuck kind of baby blue, what the hell, look at this. I had no fucking idea. Yeah, baby blue vinyl. I had literally zero idea until I opened it, and it was a really fun surprise. I really like the label. I love the color choice and the design here. Uh, even though the music doesn't necessarily match like the kind of modern aesthetic here, I think the whoever graphic designed this was excellent. I love the job that was done here. I think it looks great. A really cool record. If you're a fan of more country pop country i guess folk country i guess it's been a while since i've listened to it maybe i'll give it another chance on the turntable and give it a listen see if it sounds better than i remember but it's definitely it definitely has uh some really good packaging i will say if nothing else good packaging so i'm not upset that i spent my money as i see this is why i fucking hate paper sleeves i can't even put it in as i'm talking if nothing else, banger fucking album cover and a cool colored record added to my collection. So thank you, Janet Simpson, for Safe Distance. Cool record. Appreciate it. On to more records. This is another one that was previewed in a video previously. Young Father's Dead. This is the mother of all cr uh, birthday presents by my girlfriend. She went fucking nuts to butts finding this thing. And I really, I really fucking appreciate it because... I, I really got into Young Father's Heavy after Heavy Heavy and like, see, I didn't even mean to say that. And Dead was actually an album that, while all together wasn't incredible for me, there were some moments that were insane. And she got me this. The, re the reason it's so special is because it's the Rough Trade version plus, see, I have the, the Rough Trade uh, Essentials uh, Ubi strip on it. It's signed. I'm sure y'all can see it. I showed it off in the Young Father's video very heavily but it's signed by the members and i'm like damn this is fucking awesome and as a matter of fact tiffany told me she's like this is the video this is the picture of them signing the vinyl record which is kind of cool because you could see uh i saw them signing an i saw vinyl on the bottom so that's pretty cool that i that it's the it's certificate of authenticity isn't that cool I don't want to harp on this stuff too much, but you know, I talked about in the video, you guys cool sticker of the little foil, foil hugging people. And then this is the real cool part is why she spent a long time trying to find it is a nice gray vinyl. I think gray is for going with the, the vibe of all gray. I think this is perfect. Like very, very cool. Other side, I'm not a huge fan of the blue. It's fine, but like. There we go. I'm not a huge fan of the blue, but I mean, it ain't bad. And I am extremely thankful for it. Thank you, girlfriend. I think that's the end of the girlfriend presents, the girlfriend present saga. And what a what a better way to to close it out by getting me an album that I really enjoyed. It has some incredible songs on it. If you want to hear me gush more about Young Fathers or if you want a cool start to listening to your, your Young Fathers journey, I highly recommend listening to the uh, or watching the video on Young Fathers I did. It'll be linked in the top right corner right now, but it's a banger. I'm so happy I got it signed and they just announced a, to a North American tour for Heavy Heavy. So I need to fucking go. Uh, Young Fathers and JPEG Mafia. I will really try to go, but thank you, girlfriend, for this. I appreciate it. Moving on. Next, an album that, again, don't really have much to say because uh, not a huge fan of it, but it's it's cute for the story behind it. Uh, the Police, Round the World. It's like a, a live album by The Police, the band The Police. I have not listened to a lot of Police, but I mean, I know the popular ones like uh, Roxanne. It's kind of the big one. Uh, and this was a mom, uh, 
birthday present because I think she heard my little brother when I said, uh, buy me anything as long as it's a cool cover. Maybe not the coolest cover. Uh, I still appreciate the sentiment though, but the reason she got it is because she's like, Jake, this has my favorite song of all time on here. And I'm like, really? Is that the case? And she was like, yes. So can't stand losing you. Uh, I have th that it, that by itself was sweet on its own. And that made me want to like talk to my dad and be like, hey, dad, what's your favorite song of all time? And let me get that on vinyl. So that's pretty cool. You got the track list on the back. You know, this was interesting when I opened this uh, bad boy up. Check this shit out. Is that a CD? You might be asking, Jake. No, it's a, a tour video. It's a documentary about the tour. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Oh, shit. This should have been on the fucking uh, in the beginning when I said I do uh, CDs like CDs and uh, the other things before vinyls. But I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. You got your sleeve with the, some, some of the gang with the, more of the gang with the track list. But now what was interesting to me when I opened it, I had literally zero fucking clue it was colored not only was it colored it's foil pressed like i don't know if you could see the little uh come on focus there you go i don't know if you could see the little foil pressings but like yeah, it's like a it's like a it's silver album it's really cool and even though i'm not a huge fan of uh the police or like the the musical stylings of the time i think it's still very sweet that my mom got me it and was you know got it because she's like oh i want to share this music with my son because we don't have a lot of music that we have in common so i think that's very sweet so thank you mom for the uh the vinyl i appreciate it and it sits on my shelf it's a top right actually on my my v vinyl wall that i built myself which looks like shit moving on I'm getting parched I need a little prime hydration it's not actually prime it's just water it's a prime bottle i refilled with water i'm not broke i just don't have any bottles around and you guys know what they say reduce reuse recycle you know what i'm talking about all right we got two more records to talk about two more colored records and the one i'm going to talk about right now is the newest collection newest addition to my vinyl collection daniel caesar never enough new album Woo before i even talk about the music of daniel caesar tell me this isn't the the coolest fucking album cover of all time just like tell me it's not because you're fucking wrong it is undoubtedly the coolest album cover i've ever seen i love it so much and i th seriously think this kind of helped me uh love the music more i don't know maybe i'm just like easily influenced but hey that's me and uh that's that's daniel caesar um i listened to it and i never disliked daniel caesar but i was never really enthralled with any of his stuff but i don't know something about the tracks on here really uh really stuck with me like uh let me go. Do you really like me? Always cool. That four run track was uh, sick. Uh, Vince Van Gogh, superpowers and unstoppable. All uh, side D are epic. Epic. Did I just use epic unironically. Whatever. But yeah, I came. I walked away thinking I was like, damn, I really did like a majority of the songs on here, and I came back listening to it a lot. So I was like, yeah, you know what? If anything deserves to be picked up on vinyl, I'd say something with the greatest album cover of all time definitely does. Here's the gatefold. You got the credits, you got track list with the lyrics, and you got some photography, pretty nice photography. And this is where I could get a little controversial, right? So th the way I acquired this might be upsetting to some. I was walking through the aisles of a store and I saw it and I was like, ooh, this is sweet. I'm going to get it. And it's colored. I have to get it. Now, most of you are like, well, Jake, your local record store is probably the, the place you should be buying records. I didn't pick this up in my local record store. I picked it up at Target. Now, wait, 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 relax. Chill. Fucking relax, okay? I don't care where it's from. I said that from the beginning. I don't even care if it's real. I don't even care if it's a fucking official pressing. I got bootleg ex-military and bootleg JPEG Mafia in my crate back there. I don't care if it's official. This is official. I don't care where I get it from, okay? Amazon, Walmart, I don't care. I got fucking Scale and Icy by 21 Pilots from Walmart. That doesn't leave uh, the deep end of this video. But the reason I got it from there is because it was a colored record. And I could not begin to em like estimate how bright this orange... It's literally like... It's literally illuminating the screen right now. Like, it, it, it it's so bright. It's sick. Like, it's really cool. Yeah, just more reasons to pick up this vinyl. Uh, if you like... 
cool, relaxed kind of R and B with a, a bit of a, a bit of an interesting edge. I think there are some songs that lean on the more experimental side of uh, R and B. I think Vince Van Gogh is a good example, but I definitely want to pick it up because this is. I, I got to work on not scaring the hose uh, if we're talking about JPEG Mafia. I got to work on not scaring the hose, and this is definitely a ho neutral album which the hoes will definitely enjoy. So if I ever get bring the hoes over and I put this on the record player, then you'll be like, oh, Jake, you're definitely not scaring us. So yes, greatest album cover of all time. Not all time. Grace of the year so far, I think. Uh, Daniel Caesar, never enough. On to the final record. Whew, we did it. We are finally made it. And I'm sure you, from deducing the thumbnail, you're like, okay, uh, didn't you already show your uh, copy of By the Time I Get to Phoenix? And to that, I would say, yes, I did. But then I'd fucking flip an Uno, Uno reverse card on you and say, that was my other copy of By the Time I Get the Phoenix. This is my open copy. If you're new to the channel, uh, when By the Time the Phoenix was released, uh, I'll kind of recap the story. They released the black vinyl. This was September 2021. They released the black version of the vinyl. And I was like, eh, okay, maybe I'm not going to pick it up. But then they announced the smoke gray variant. And I was like, okay, I got to get that. Someone thinks he's cool. So then I picked up the smoke gray version and I was like, awesome. I got a vinyl waiting for me. And then a week later, they're like, well, we're going to release the red variant. And in my head, I was like, hmm, I kind of want the red variant more. So I bought the red variant too. And now I have two versions by the time I get to Phoenix. There's one that is sealed. Uh, it's double wrapped, unopened of the smoke gray version, never touched it. And that's going to stay like that until someone offers me like a good amount of money for it. Or I don't know, something happens. And I bought it like, I think I put it on my Instagram story when it came up 550 some days later, I finally can play by the, get, by the time I get to Phoenix on my fucking record player. Great album cover. Uh, not a huge fan of the back. It's still kind of cool for like a minimalistic style. Uh, have you ever seen the Twitter video of how this cover was made? Someone fucking just found the National Geographic documentary and is like, oh, d literally the fucking album cover. It's just a screenshot from a National Geographic documentary. I highly recommend seeking that out. I don't want to put that in here just in case of, uh, you know, possible copyright strikes. But I highly suggest you go seek that out if you really like By the Time I Get the Phoenix. I want to learn more about the inner inner mechanism and it. Whatever. I try to do SpongeBob memes. You know, for uh, for 500 fucking days, you know, it's not a whole lot in here, but I mean, like, it's it's okay. They're lucky the music is fucking awesome. They're lucky it's literally my favorite album of 2021, and they're lucky that I got my hands finally on a red version. Very cool. I like the glowing eye and the back. A bit lazy, but kind of comical. Just the title, and then this is side A, that is side B. I mean. That's just, that's just comedy right there. Why aren't you focusing? It's like, this is side A, that is side B. Kind of, kind of funny. I remember sending an email in my fucking, chem my forensic biology class uh, a year ago in like sitting in the little lecture hall. I'm like, I thought about it. I'm like, huh, it's been like a full year since this came, like since I ordered it. And I emailed them and I was like, eh, let's see what's up. And I'm like, hey, when's this coming? And I got an email back and they're like, yeah, we're working on it. And I was like, all right, that doesn't really help. And then the smoke gray variant showed up before the red one. And I had to wait extra long to actually play it. And I was like, you're fucking kidding me. But finally, finally, I have a copy of by the time we get to Phoenix, I can play on record. And isn't that what, isn't that what is this is all about? I think it's pretty nice looking really good album. Love the album cover. And, uh, this concludes um the vinyl update thank you for watching i appreciate it uh hopefully my camera will stay in focus and i can thank you guys properly for watching the video uh new main channel videos are being worked on right now i'm always putting stuff on patreon uh, i actually just started a new series not like two hours ago called catching big fish radio where it's like a little podcast like an audio podcast thing on my patreon where I'm going to post that post that very frequently. If you'd like to go check that out. Also, I have a listenership where I've said multiple people have requested me albums to listen to and I review them in a video and I've bought them because I like them so much. Like 
I'm trying to think if there's anything on the wall right now. No. Go there, catchingbigfish.store, the merch shop. You get 15% uh, off your merch if you're a patron, like, all the time. You can just use that code, like, whenever you buy stuff. Pretty cool. And uh, early videos on Patreon, too. Just want to put that out there. So, uh, subscribe to Patreon. Five bucks a month. I think, for the amount of content I'm giving out, I think that's kind of a steal, in my opinion. But I think that's all I have to say. So, thank you for watching this uh, weird 16 by 9 monstrosity i hope it didn't scare you too much but i appreciate it uh thanks for watching the vinyl update stick around to the next vinyl update and uh yeah i don't really know how to end these uh anymore because i used to do the as long as you remember to blah 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 but now i'm not really doing that anymore so i think we're just gonna sit here in silence and let it fade to black